How's it going? It's Steve Lennon again. I have another uh, question and answer session for you today. And the question I have for you today is, is how do I determine the amount of my initial offering? How much do I plan to offer on a property initially when I actually want to make an offer? Well, the, as a buyer, by the way, uh, the answer to that question is, well, it depends. And there's a lot of factors. So let's go over the factors. The first factor is, is what's the strength of you as a buyer coming in to make that offer? Are you coming in with 20% down, coming in with 3% down or 3.5% down, 5%? Are you, is it an all cash offer? That's going to reflect on what type of offer you want to make. The other thing you want to look at is you want to look at is, um, is are you pre-approved or not pre-approved if you are getting a loan. If you're fully pre-approved and we have a letter, that's going to give you some more strength in making that offer and actually strategically figuring out what offer to make. The next thing is, is how long has a property been on the market? Has it been sitting around? Is it 90 days, 120 days, 160 days in the marketplace? And frankly, there's something, some issue there where people aren't um, putting in an offer or the offer is too high. So a lot of times the offers on properties will be too high and there's really not a ready, willing, and able seller who wants to sell the property because uh, the agent on the other side hasn't educated them uh, well enough uh, in understanding that you, you, know, you have to price it right to get it sold and therefore it sits on the market. So sometimes that can be an advantage um, in making an initial offer. The next thing is, is seller contributions. If the seller is going to pay for some of your closing costs and you're putting 3% down, then you don't have as much strength strategically as someone else who might be putting 20% down with no closing costs. So we all have to look at those variables, but there are ways in which uh, to get the seller to do that and uh, that's something that us professionals who know what we're doing been in the business for many many years know how to, ha how to handle and that's why you hire us so um, we can always handle that in whatever way we need to also the next question is is how long is the uh, is, are you going to be in escrow if you make an offer on if we make an offer on your behalf how much time do we want to put it into escrow and if it's in escrow how is that going to balance with what the needs and desires are of the seller so um, depending on what we do there, and we can always find out by talking to the agent and things like that as representatives. That's why there's strength in having us work with you and work with the seller and the seller's agent to, uh, to, to determine that and get your offer through. So there's uh, th these issues as well as some other issues which uh, we can go into when you give me a call. My name is Steve Lennon. I've been in real estate 25 years. would love to talk to you. If you're selling a house or you're buying a house, um, give me a call. I'm in Southern California area. And uh, we'll just go from there. So you can always reach me at stevelinen.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-L-I-N-N-I-N.com. That's my portal. And then it will direct you to uh, all my different websites. And, and uh, you can even watch more videos in my video series. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.